Over 140 police officers were injured during this attack. Officer Brian Sicknick died as a result of this attack. Five, four other police officers died as a result of this attack. One of Donald Trump's insurrectionists died at this insurrection. But the most harrowing experience that we have heard from the officers, one of them, was Officer Fanon. He endured this, and the least we can do is learn what he endured and ensure by informing ourselves and others that this doesn't happen ever again. One of the most brutal attacks of the day occurred outside the tunnel when rioters dragged MPD officer Michael Fanon into the crowd and then tased, beat, and robbed him while, the, while a Blue Lives Matter flag fluttered above. Albuquerque Head, a rioter from Tennessee, grabbed Officer Fanon around the neck and pulled him into the mob. I got one, Head shouted. Lucas Denny, a th the three percenter, swung his arm and fist at Officer Fanon, grabbed him, and pulled him down the stairs. Daniel Rodriguez then tased him in the neck. Kyle Young lunged towards Officer Fanon, restraining the officer's wrist. While Young held him, still another rider, Thomas Sibick, reached towards him and forcibly removed his police badge and radio. Officer Fanon feared they were after his gun. Members of the crowd yelled, kill him, get his gun, and kill him with his own gun. Does that sound like a tourist to you? It doesn't sound like a tourist to me. Does that sound like a peaceful protest to you? That doesn't sound like a peaceful protest to me. That sounds like an insurrection. That sounds like attacking the police officers who were there to defend the Capitol. 